This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show. And here's our host, Mark Richards. Hello, Starcaders, and welcome. We're backstage warming up for today's action, and our two contestants are getting ready to play some very exciting video arcade games. Players, are you about ready to play? Yeah! Well, let's not waste any time. Let's play Starcade. <laughs> Right now, Starcaders at home, I'd like to introduce our two contestants today on Starcade. We have Lisa Ellie, and Lisa's over here on my right, and over here we have Sam Zabor. And both of our contestants have been matched up based on their game playing ability. Right now, I'd like to tell both Lisa and Sam that one of you at the end of the program will have an opportunity to go for the grand prize, your very own video arcade game. And there it is right behind us, and it's Cubert. <laughs> And we'll tell you more about Cubert later on in the program, but now let's find out about uh, you, Lisa. Okay, well, I go to Lincoln School. I'm sixth grade. Next month's my birthday, and I, I like to memorize poems. And one of my favorite poems is Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Can you give us a little sample of that? That's one of my favorites, too. <laughs> okay. Twas brillig in the slithy toes, did gyr and gimble in the wave. On mimsy where the bar goes, and the moan rows out grave. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jub jub bird and son, that from your spander snatch. Very good, Lisa. <laughs> nice to have you on the program today, and we wish you a lot of luck. Let's meet your opponent, and this is Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good, and tell us about yourself. Okay, I'm 14 years old. I go to Washington High School, and I really enjoy watching Starcade. Is Star now, tell me the truth. Is Starcade your favorite TV game show? Uh, it sure is, but I also have another favorite. Uh, what is that? Uh, the Price is Right. The Price is Right? Is if you had a choice, so if we were on opposite The Price is Right, and you had a choice of watching only one show, which one would it be? I'd watch Starcade. Hey, Bob Barker, <laughs> eat your heart out. I'll t <laughs> Shake hands, if you will. Both good luck to Lisa and Sam. Take your places at the podium. And let's get ready to play, Starcade. Here's Kevin to tell us about the five games on today's program. Kevin? Mark, game number one today is Lost Tomb, a race through a dark tomb. Game number two, Donkey Kong Jr., son rescues Papa from Mean Mario. Game three is Ms. Pac-Man, a petite munch around the maze. Game number four today, Lock and Chase, a game of cops and robbers. And game five today on Starcade, Pac-Man, and the great one is back. Good games, and let me tell you right now that attached to one of those five games is a valuable prize. You pick that game, and the prize is yours. Today's mystery game is Pac-Man. Let's get ready to see who picks the first game. Here's the question. Hands on the bells, please. In the game... Zevius, you, A, are defending your planet from the Zevius aggressors, or B, are a Zevius aggressor trying to invade Earth? A. Sam? A. A, you're right. A is the answer. Right. Defending your planet from the Zevius aggressors. Right. Sam, let me tell you, you have the advantage. Which one of the five games would you like to select? I'll try Ms. Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man, here's Kevin to tell us all about that game. Kevin? Ms. Pac-Man munches her way petitely through the dots while being chased by four monsters. Every dot she munches is another point on her score as she munches her way toward the Energizers. Gobbling one of these, she can then pursue the blue monsters for more points, but she's running again when the monsters change back to their original colors. She'll score extra points if she catches the fruit that appears briefly in the maze. You've chosen Ms. Pac-Man, a very petite lady. Sam, your choice is Ms. Pac-Man, one of my favorite games. We're going to give you 60 seconds on our time clock. Get as many points as you possibly can. You feel all right? I sure do. I Good. Feel great. Good. Good luck to you. Into playing position, if you will. Ready? Begin. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
good. Looks like you're happy with 3,990 points. I'm pretty happy. Good. Come on, uh, Lisa. Your turn to play right now. <laughs> Lisa, what what do you think? Do you think you can get a little bit better than that? Yeah, maybe. Well, we hope you, well, we wish you luck, just like we wish Sam luck. We're going to give you 60 seconds on our time clock. Into playing position, if you will, please. Ready? Begin. <laughs> You should be very happy. You have a very good score, 6,230 points. Lisa, we'll be back with you and Sam to find out which of our star caters likes our next game following these words. Starcade is brought to you by Parker Brothers Home Video Game Cartridges, makers of popular video games like Frogger. Parker Brothers, the ones to beat. Today on Starcade, the grand prize is Cubert, hopping into your heart as he hops about the cubes, changing colors and avoiding foes. Cubert, a bit nosy but a likable fellow from D. Gottlieb and Company. And now back to Starcade with Mark Richard. Thank you, Kevin. Great prize. Lisa and Sam, that could be yours at the end of the program. Right now, it's time to see who is winning in the game. Lisa, at the end of one game, you have a grand total of 6,230 points. Sam, your score so far is 3,990. Lisa, you're doing real well. You've got a great lead. Sam, you've got some catching up to do. But we have another game to be played in this uh, round of competition. The high score will play the first prize round. So if you're set, here is your next question. In the game Cobra, the player is A, Slithering Snake, or B, a helicopter. B. Sam. B. B, a helicopter. You've got it. You, uh... You get to pick the next game. There are four games remaining on Starcade. We have Lost Tomb, Donkey Kong Jr., Lock and Chase, or Pac-Man. Which one will it be? Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong Jr., that's the game we're going to play next. Kevin, please tell us all about that game. Mario, beware of Donkey Kong Jr. He's crafty, he's fearless, and out to rescue Papa Kong from your clutches. Scoring points as he climbs, avoiding the brigade of snapping jaws, ape-eating birds, and energy pods. Watch out, Mario. The son of Donkey Kong is out to rescue Papa. Sam, we're going to play Donkey Kong Jr. right now. 50 seconds on our time clock. Lisa's ahead of you. This is a very important game. The high score at the end of this game plays the first prize round. So you all set? Sure am. Good luck to you. 50 seconds on our time clock. Ready? Begin. <laughs> Sam! Ha! 
Real good. You like that score? I sure do. 7,400 points. Come on up here, Lisa. Let's see how well you can do. <laughs> you know, you've got a little bit of a lead, but 7,400 points. What do you think? Not good. Not good for who? For me. Well, we're going to wish you luck. We're going to give you 50 seconds on our time clock into playing position, if you will. Ready and begin. <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> well, all right, 2,800 points. Let's go on back to the podium to find out which of our two contestants gets to uh, play the first prize round on the program. And uh, Sam, how do you feel so far? I feel pretty good. Lisa, you don't have a smile on your face. What's wrong? <laughs> mm -hmm. You think you know, right? right? Let's find out for sure. The official score at the end of two games. Lisa, you have a total of... 9,030 points. Sam, your total, 11,390. Hey. Sam, you get to play our first prize round. So come on down here with me, if you will. We're going to show you the playing fields of four video arcade games. You identify them correctly, you'll win some great prizes. Kevin, please tell us what those prizes are. Sam, for three correct answers, it's the Cobra Phone cordless telephone, letting you receive and place calls anywhere inside or outside your home. Model CP99S features attractive styling and a concealed antenna. Enjoy cordless phoning with a Cobra Phone. And for four correct answers, it's the Redline PL20 Carrera, the state-of-the-art in bicycle motocross. P for pro performance, L for lightning fast, the Redline PL Carrera, the best in bicycle motocross. Great prizes. They could be yours. You all set, Sam? I sure am. Let's take a look at your very first uh, game here. Sam, is this Eyes or Jazzman? Eyes. Right. Number two, Fighter Squadron or Tax Scan? Tax Scan. Yes. Number three, Mission X or Bomber Attack? Mission X. Right you are. Now for the grand prize, is this Time Pilot or Fighter Plane? Time Pilot. You got them all. You Come on over here. You should be very happy, very well. You've got yourself a great prize, and we'll be back with uh, Lisa and Sam for another round of competition on Starcade following these words. <laughs> Welcome back to Starcade with Lisa and Sam. And I'd like to tell you right now that many of the video arcade games you see on our show are seen for the first time anywhere right here on Starcade. Right now, I'd like to tell both of you that this is the big challenge. Only 40 seconds on our time clock, one game remaining to be played. The high score at the end of this game plays the super prize round, and one of you will go on to play for the grand prize your very own video arcade game. So if you're all set, here's another question. Good luck to both of you. How many veggies per round in the game Dig Dug? A, is there one? Or B, are there three? Lisa. Three. B. No, no, there is one. Sam, you get to pick the next game. There are three games remaining on the program. We have Lost Tomb, Lock and Chase, or Pac-Man. And let me say that there's still one of those games has a valuable prize attached to it. I'll pick Lost Tomb. Lost Tomb. That's the game you're going to play next. Kevin, please tell us all about Lost Tomb. You're parachuted into a mystery, a lost tomb of dark chambers and strange beings. You are the alien here, but there are treasures for the taking, and you can't resist the temptation as you wind your way through the chambers, searching for the way out of the lost tomb. Sam, you've already played the first prize round. You've won some prizes, and uh, how would you like to play the super prize round? Oh, I should love it. You know what you have to do? I have to get a high score in this game. Right. 40 seconds on the time clock. 
If you're all set into playing position, please. Ready, begin. Are you happy? Yeah, sure am. Uh, I saw you applauding there. 1,440 points. Come on down here, Lisa. <laughs> if you can beat that score by just one, you get to play the super prize round. You all excited? Yes. We're going to give you 40 seconds on our time clock. Good luck to you, Lisa. Turn around into playing position. Ready, begin. Let me see a smile. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go on back. And it's not all that bad. Let's see who gets to play the super prize round. And Sam, how do you feel, huh? I feel great. Feel pretty confident you're going to win? How about you, Lisa? Fine. All right. Let's total up the points right now from this game. Whoever has the highest total of points will play our super prize round. Lisa, your score for that game is 360 points. Sam, you have... 1,440. You've been here before. Come on down. You were here before. You got all four right. You won yourself a great prize. Again, we're going to show you the playing fields of four video arcade games. Identify them correctly, and you'll win these prizes. Kevin, please tell us what they are. For three correct answers, it's the Sicy Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Sicy provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player. Sicy. And Sam, for four correct answers, it's the Texas Instruments Home Computer and Monitor for education, home finance, and entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Monitor from Texas Instruments. Those are the prizes. You could win them if you do well on the game. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, turn around into playing position, please, and let's take a look at our first screen. Sam, is this Tempest or Scanner? Tempest. Right. Is this Super Zaxxon or Zaxxon? Zaxxon. Right, you are. Number three. Jungles or Fantasy? Fantasy. Right. Number four. The Pit or Dark Hole? The pit. You got him again. <laughs> you know your games. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, we're going to be back and find out who gets to play for the grand prize, their very own Qbert video arcade game, right after these words. Some of our Starcade contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive... The famous red ball joystick from Wicco, making joysticks for actual arcade games like those used on Starcade. Wicco Command Control, the one and only arcade quality joystick for home use. The TI-5130 printer display desktop calculator from Texas Instruments. Anything you do with numbers, Texas Instruments can help you do better. Electronic fun with computers and games is the magazine of the computer age. Easy to read, witty, and informative, it's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. Electronic fun with computers and games. And welcome back to Starcade. Right now, we're going to find out who between Lisa and Sam will play for the grand prize, their very own Qbert video arcade game. At the end of three games on the program, Lisa, your grand total is... 9,390 points. Sam, your grand total is 
12,830. Sam, congratulations, you're the winner. Lisa, thank you very much for being with us on the show. We hope you had some fun. We have some parting gifts for you and hope to have you back with us again soon, okay? Thank you. And right now, Sam, there are two games remaining on the program, your choice of Lock and Chase or Pac-Man. If you uh, select Lock and Chase, you must score in a 30-second time period more than 2,110 points. If you select Pac-Man, you must score more than 3,740 points. Mm -hmm. Now, those are the average scores based on 20 people playing those same games for a 30-second time period. Sam, which is your game? Pac-Man. Pac-Man, and do you have any strategy for picking that game? Uh, try to get the energizers and go for the monsters. Well, here's Kevin to tell us all about Pac-Man. It's a lazy munch around the maze, gobbling up dots, scoring points, and enticing the monsters close to the energizer dots so he can turn the monsters blue and then gobble them up and score more points. If a cherry or a strawberry or a lemon should appear in the maze, he may stop to munch a bit and make still more points. It's the Pac-Man, known to all and loved by many. Sam! You don't really need any luck. You've won uh, both the prize rounds today. You've won a lot of fine gifts. Right now, in 30 seconds, you can win the Qbert video game if you score more than 3,740 points. We want you to win. <laughs> I sure hope so. Right, folks in the audience? We want them to win. <laughs> don't disappoint us. Here we go. 30 seconds on our time clock. Good luck to you, Sam. Ready? Begin. <laughs> Sam, you, you tried your very best, 2,510 points. You're shy for about 800 points. You've been a great contestant. We hope you had some fun with us. Come on up here, Mom and Dad and uh, Lisa. I want to thank everybody for being with us on the program today. And you folks at home, we'll see you next time on Star K. This is Mark Richards saying bye-bye. Cars furnished by Holiday Payless Rent a Car System. Two great names providing top service at 260 locations across the U.S. and Canada. The Starcader staff stays at the elegant Grosvenor Inn Civic Center in San Francisco. The Starcade audience travels to the show by chauffeured bus from Vista Limousine Service. Some of the Starcade set furnished by RCA. This has been a JM production. Starcade has been brought to you by Parker Brothers Home Video Game Cartridges. Parker Brothers, the ones to beat.